Hello, everyone. We are live from 7 Kennedy Lane in Cold Spring Harbor. I have Joyce at the house with the camera, and I'm Erica here in the office in Cold Spring Harbor Village. So this is our beautiful uh, Center Hall Colonial built in 2007 right in the heart of the Midland section in Cold Spring Harbor. Very convenient, only a half, an, half mile to the village of Cold Spring Harbor, close to the junior and senior high school, and a wonderful community, very popular in Cold Spring Harbor. So Joyce is taking us around here to the yard. Let's see? It's got beautiful plantings. The homeowners uh, have been meticulous. They actually built this house back in 2007. So this is the first time this house has actu actually ever even been on the market. So we're really excited to show you. I'll give you a tour here. She's walking right up to the front door, which is a stunning solid mahogany door. And, and just to remind everyone that you can ask questions in the comments if you have any questions or if you want us to go back and look at something. Um, we already had our first question actually about the taxes. And these taxes are at $21,656.45. Um, that is a, a pretty low tax rate for this area of Cold Spring Harbor too. One of the other benefits about this beautiful home here. Joyce has taken us inside. Look at this foyer. You have 19 foot ceilings right here in the foyer. The entire first floor actually has nine foot ceilings. And I, I mentioned just a minute ago too that this house was built in 2007. And I wanted to point out actually some of the construction details about the house. Um, they used two by six construction, R19 insulation, five eighth inch sheetrock. Um, so this, the building, the construction is uh, top notch. And also one of the things you'll notice about it inside, we can't exactly tell right now um, because Joyce is on mute while she walks around, but this house is extremely quiet. Um, and nice. So here we are in the formal living room. They have it set up with a desk right now, but it could be an office, formal living room. You, you name it, beautiful built-ins there. Have lights in them. And probably one of my favorite features about the house is the windows. They have the extra large windows with the transom on top. It lets so much light in. Um, the house is it's really bright and beautiful. It's a little gray today because of the weather, but normally it's full of light. Here we are in the den or family room. You have a gas fireplace there with built-ins flanking on either side. Hardwood floors are throughout the whole entire house. Again, the extra large windows with the transom and a beautiful view over there to the, the kitchen. It's a great space for in entertaining a great flow here on the first floor of the house. Back here, another peak of this beautiful foyer and the powder room, which is right off the foyer along with the coat closet. The dining room. Again, extra large windows, beautiful views outside. And she's looping us around here. You can see the butler's pantry. We'll take another look at that from the other angle as well. And this butler's pantry um, was actually, they were considering putting a warming draw in here. So it is set up for electric if somebody wanted to put that in, or you could put in a wine fridge or beverage fridge. Here we are. 
looping around again. See this eat in kitchen, lots of space there, big table for eight with uh, this beautiful Trex decking right outside the kitchen. Again, easy indoor, outdoor entertaining. They have, uh, you can kind of see it a little there. They have also a gas line that goes right to the deck so you can have a gas grill. As I mentioned, the house has natural gas from the street. They do have that beautiful Wolf 6 range stove there. Yeah, and the cabinets are a cherry um, in pristine condition. Everything has been so well maintained in this house. Is there and an extra large fridge. That's one side is the fridge and one side is the freezer. So lots of storage for everything in this house, including your food. Here is the first floor laundry and mudroom. Right behind this door here is the two car garage. And I, a couple of things about the garage to point out, um, it's been asked, there, but I see three doors. Yes, there is three doors. Um, the third door is actually just for aesthetics um, and it doesn't open. And it, it's because also there is a door to the outside from that part of uh, the garage as well. And yeah, it's the gas line on the deck. So you can have a grill there. You don't have to worry about running out of propane if you're entertaining. Oh, and actually when we were talking about the laundry too, I should have mentioned that the dryer there is also a gas dryer. Yeah. High ceilings, nine foot throughout the downstairs of Seven Kennedy. And for those joining again, um, we are at 7 Kennedy in Cold Spring Harbor. You can feel free to ask questions in the comments and we will answer those live. Uh, this is Erica Pappas. I'm here in the office at Lucky to Live Here and I have my colleague Joyce at the house taking video for us. All right, there we are back in the foyer. Again, you can just see how the whole house flows so nicely from room to room. Um, it's wonderful for entertaining and, and family living. Here we are walking up the stairs. Again, Seven Kennedy has hardwood floors throughout the house. It was built in 2007. Um, and there's, we're gonna be touring the bedrooms right now. There's four bedrooms upstairs. Beautiful. Foyer, looking down, the foyer has a 19 foot ceiling height. All right, we're, uh, oh, a question just came in. This house is on cesspool and um, the septic system was brand new, put in in 2007 um, and all up to date. Here we are in the primary bedroom. It's a generous size room, 13, eight by 12, 21, 11, sorry. And it is an ensuite with a bathroom here. Just poking her head in. Nice storage in this bathroom, uh, linen closet, vanity. Shower tub combination. Oh, and the bidet, of course, yes. It's very important these days when we have shortages, right? Little joke there for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Okay, and also this, the website for the house, just so you know, sevenkennedylane.com is pinned in the comments. So if you wanna see photos or check out the floor plan while we're walking around, you can jump on there, sevenkennedylane.com. And so Joyce just poked her head into uh, the extra bonus closet space there off the, off the primary bedroom. peek down there. Lots of great storage in this house. This house is, you will not need any extra additional storage if you move here. There's places everywhere. This is the first bedroom we're going into. Um, it is the smallest of the four bedrooms. It also has the access, uh, if you poke up your, your camera there, Joyce, we see the access to the attic. And I'm gonna point out something about that. Um, they have a pull down staircase there, but when they were building the house back in 2007, they did consider putting in a staircase. And so we'll see in the next bedroom, there is an additional closet that you could modify this to, um, to build a staircase again there. She can point over to the closet doors right there. Yes, that's where they were planning to put in a staircase. And the attic is a stand-up attic uh, with windows from the outside. You might have noticed those dormers. So it does have a lot of light and could also be used for storage or you could, you could make a room up there. So here we are in our third bedroom of the house. Upstairs hallway and the hall bathroom. I love that black and white look. Pop of periwinkle in there. And, and everything in this house, it was built in 2007, but it's in uh, an amazing condition. Everything is like brand new. Here we are in our fourth bedroom, looks out to the front of the house. What's really nice about this house, um, we can, when we go back downstairs, we can look again. It is on the corner of uh, Kennedy. Kennedy sort of loops around from uh, Turkey Lane and uh, it's a very quiet and uh, private lot. There we are. Cold Spring Harbor, right in the heart of the Midlands section of Cold Spring Harbor, only a half mile to the village of Cold Spring Harbor and very close to the junior senior high school, which if you aren't familiar in Cold, uh, with Cold Spring Harbor School District, um, that is grades seven through 12 that go to the junior and senior high school. Here again in the Den family room at 7 Kennedy Lane in Cold Spring Harbor. This is Erica. I'm in the office at Lucky to Live Here and I have Joyce on the camera at the house. So please, uh, if you have any questions, you need to see anything again, please write it in the comments and we'd be happy to get you more information or another look. I love all these windows, just looking out over this private yard. Oh, somebody did ask a question about an elementary school nearby. And uh, as I mentioned, the junior senior high school, which is grades seven through 12 in Cold Spring Harbor School District is close by. And in Cold Spring Harbor, the school district is broken up into a primary school, Goose Hill Primary, which is grades K and one, and then two elementary schools, grades two through six. Oh, we've gone down to the basement. I'll tell you that in a second. So this, this house here is zoned for Lloyd Harbor Elementary School in, for grades two through six. So Joyce has just taken us here down to the basement. Look at all the storage. Look at all these shelves. They're staying with the house. And this is probably one of the tidiest basements I've ever seen. Everything is labeled, uh, accessible, new, clean. Again, big windows down here in the basement. 
this basement is not a dark, scary place. There's tons of light and the ceilings are extremely high as well. There's the stairway. So it has bonus space down here. We have that unfinished side and we do have some finished side. I think Joyce might be losing her signal down there in the basement. So please call the office if you have any questions and I can get you some more info on this beautiful base, finished basement space. There's an outside entrance too down here, which is great. Again, for your storage and all of your things, easy access to the basement, both through the house and from the outside. Yeah, so oh, another question. Yeah, so about the elementary school. So we're one mile to Goose Hill Primary, which is um, the school for K and one in Cold Spring Harbor School District. And we are four miles to Lloyd Harbor Elementary and just a quarter of a mile to the junior, senior high school, grades seven through 12. Beautiful deck, easy entertaining from the kitchen right to the outside. Trex decking, this is, this is as low maintenance as you can get too. You won't have to worry about painting this deck or anything like that. granite countertops, cherry cabinets. And I, I mean, everything, these homeowners are so clean. Oh, somebody actually, Joyce said, they'd like to see the garage area again. And they're wondering, is there a way to make a larger mudroom area by the garage entry? So we can kind of poke our head down there to show you. Now, inside it's, Inside the house, you probably wouldn't be able to, but you could, I think you could maybe do something here. This is where you have that extra, that door back there is a door to the outside. They have a lot of gardening equipment and stuff right here, but I think that is a great location for some other built-in lockers and things like that. Sporting equipment. Okay, somebody is also, Joyce, when we get a second, they're asking to go to the, main basement area but here we'll just poke our head in here to the garage the two-car garage and then if Joyce can you pan to the middle there I just want to point out that there is an access point in the middle of the garage with pull down staircase that goes to storage a storage area a stand-up storage area there too again so much storage in this house you are not going to run out of space All right, so yeah, they're asking if we can go back to the main basement area. Erica? Yes, yeah. I don't have service in the main basement. Oh, okay, all right. So yeah, so if somebody has some specific questions about the main basement area, why don't you just give me a call? I'm happy to uh, set up a tour for you to see in person. Um, and I also, there is some extra pictures that I can send over. You can see pictures of the house at 7kennedylane.com. Uh, the floor plan is there as well. And the basement has high ceilings as well. Oh, yes. Very high ceilings and windows with lots of, lots of light. The garage uh, is not temperature controlled. Nope. There is not a zone of heat in there. Is there anywhere else you would like me to go again? Uh, let's see. Is there anyone else? Is there anything else anyone would like to see again in person? Here at 7 Kennedy Lane in Cold Spring Harbor. No? Let's, let's wait a second, Joyce, and see if anyone has any other questions. Okay. Okay. So she's just stepping outside here for us. And again, you can see this lot is surrounded by trees. Um, and it's a corner here on Kennedy. Okay, so yes, we're at 7 Kennedy Lane in Cold Spring Harbor. This is in the heart of the Midlands section of Cold Spring Harbor. We are about a half mile to Cold Spring Harbor Village. And Seven Kennedy Lane is a center, 
Center Hall Colonial, built in 2007. Um, this house is brand new to the market. It's never been on the market, actually. The homeowners built it themselves in 2007. So we're really excited to, to show everyone here. She's panning around so you can see. Again, I, I mentioned earlier, but for people who are just jumping on, this house is a two-car garage. That third door back there is for aesthetics, and I agree. It, it looks very nice that way. Um, inside, there is a space in the garage. Maybe there could be a mudroom we were showing somebody earlier. Another question just came in, is it possible to build a pool on the property based on where the cesspool is? Uh, that may be possible. I would, I would recommend somebody um, speak with a you know, pool professional about that. Landscape architect, if we just yeah. send you the survey, they'd be able to tell you where you can plop it in. Right, um, yep. And we have the survey I can send to anyone. Okay, we're asking to see the backyard. So the, this house actually has more of the yard space here where Joyce is on the side of the house. Uh, it is a corner lot and it kind of loops around there. So directly behind the house, there is a, a small, I don't think Joyce's camera, we were losing signal earlier today. So I don't think she'll be able to show you that well, but um, it's a smaller area in the direct backyard. Oh, and the shed here, I should mention about the shed, it does come with the house and it is wired for electric. It also has water on it. Um, the homeowner did a, a bit of gardening and there's some raised garden beds right there. So here Joyce is kind of showing us that side angle and you can get a little bit of an idea of behind the house. We probably won't be able to show you uh, right now too because of our signal, but this house, you know, it is only a half mile from Cold Spring Harbor Village. Um, it, it, has access to Eagle Dock Beach, Cold Spring Harbor's uh, private resident beach. And this house has an outdoor shower with hot and cold water. So perfect for your days when you're coming home from the beach at Eagle Dock Beach. You can, uh, there's kayak storage, you can moor your boat there. Oh, and we had a question about the price. This house is listed at 1,895,000. Uh, it is a brand new listing. It just came on the market last week. And again, the 7 Kennedy Lane was built in 2007, and this is the first time it's out on the market. Uh, somebody is asking about the staircase to the basement on the outside of the house. Um, I don't think our signal is going to allow us to get there. We were losing it out in the driveway before, but maybe Joyce, you can point towards the gate there and we can show them that it's right behind the gate. Yeah. Oops. We're losing you, Joyce. We did lose you there. Okay. There's the gate. So if you go through that gate uh, and you make a, a right there, there's the stairs leading right down to the basement. Here we are, 7 Kennedy Lane, Cold Spring Harbor, Center Hall Colonial, lots of storage, great, great uh, condition, built in 2007 in the sought after Midland section of Cold Spring Harbor. We're really excited about this house. If you have any more questions, just let us know. Thanks for visiting us. Yes, thank you. Um, and again, 7kennedylane.com. And the video here will stay up on Facebook uh, so you can revisit it and see some other things. But please give a call and schedule a private tour. We'd be happy to show you in person. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.